It's actually fascinating, technologically speaking, um, to actually be operated on. Um, what happens is you are, a patient lays out on the operating room table just like any other procedure, and we put in um, basically small incisions in through the abdomen, and we then move the, what we call the Da Vinci robot that has the arms, and we put these arms actually in through these incisions. Once, we, we call that docking. Once the robot is docked, the surgeon herself then goes over to a robot con console and sits at the console where we have the ability to manipulate the arms. So I'm not actually standing by your bedside when I'm operating on you. I'm actually standing, I'm sitting actually at a console. Um, at the bedside, your, above you is the anesthesiologist who's monitoring your vital signs. And we have, typically we either have a surgeon or a surgical assist that sits right next to you that um, is able to um, move and manipulate the arms for me and for, and for instruments that they would be exchanging. And then we have another assist actually um, right next to you also. So there's actually two assists right next to the patient while the, the surgeon herself is sitting at the console man manipulating the arms. Once you go to Vinci, you will never go back um, as a surgeon. Um, it is the ability to dissect and the uh, precision of the Da Vinci instrument is, is phenomenal. Um, far far out, out, outweighs the conventional laparoscopy. I can do so much more with, um, with the Da Vinci robot system. I'm so much more confident being able to uh, dissect um, as a patient, anecdotally speaking, um, I did a lot of minimally invasive surgery with laparoscopy, conventional laparoscopy before, and even seeing these patients, even though the incisions are almost similar, their recovery time and pain is so significantly more improved with the da Vinci system. And I think it's, it's because the articulation of the arms are not at the, um, area, at the level of the abdomen for the patient, it's actually internal. So there's no torquing on the abdomen while I'm operating because with the conventional laparoscopy, you have just these straight sticks and you move around the abdomen and the patient can feel all of that or actually it's all manipulated on the skin. Whereas with the da Vinci system, the system is placed in but all the articulation is done at the end of the instrument itself and so there's no torquing on the abdomen itself. So I have patients after a da Vinci hysterectomy, the next day I go see them and they're dressed, packed, ready to go. I've had patients tell me they didn't even need pain medication. I've had patients go back to work in two weeks. Whereas even with conventional laparoscopic hysterectomy, they still had pain. They still required um, some time off, you know. So anecdotally speaking, just watching my, my patients actually recover, you know, it's, it's, sold, it's really sold me, you know. Um, as a surgeon, it's fantastic because it's better for me, but watching my patients recover, it's, I just, I'm, I'm really amazed. I really didn't think there would be a difference for the patient. But in the time that I've been operating with the robotic, um, with the robotic Da Vinci system, it's, you know, they've, it's, I've been convinced. It's a phenomenal piece of technology.